Hey everybody, today is going to be really exciting because I'm going to take a look at uh, Spotlight Inside ZBrush. This is a piece of art I made using Spotlight and several textures. I get all of my textures from Pixabay. So, okay, I here's Pixabay and I searched paper texture. Um, all of these images are royalty free and I can use them for commercial uh, projects if I needed to. Uh, okay, these are different paper textures that I can use. Um, this is probably too crazy. I'm going to move down. Here's a good one. Prawny. I'm going to uh, save this. Free for commercial use, no attribution required. Right on. And I like big images, so let's view this. Okay, then save as. And I've got a Pixabay folder that I've got. Uh, these are other textures that I've um, uploaded from this uh, Pixabay site. Save and then okay that's done let's go back and um... maybe i could use this click on this one as well okay this is a nice big image okay save this in the right folder Saving, saving, done. Okay, I might need one more photo. Hmm. Um. Probably. Oh, that could be interesting. Um. Okay, I like this. Um, no, let's use this. Okay. 25, here's another big image. Load that up. Okay. Now we have all of our images. Right click, save as, paper. Good. Everything's done, so close these windows out. Okay, minimize, back to ZBrush. Okay, this, uh, I'm going to create a new project. So, Lightbox, plain ZPR. Okay, now I'm going to um, press F to uh, frame it. And then. Um, I want to create UVs for this, just so I can use the texture that I create from it later in other projects. So, um, let's go to Z, uh, Z plugin, and then UV master, and unwrap. Thinking, thinking, done. Okay, that's done. Now, go down to texture map, create. New from Polypaint. Okay, good. That's what I want. And now, Control D a few times. Uh, I'll stick with four million. That's nice. Okay. Then go to Texture and Import and find the um, Pixabay folder I had. Now, here's a piece of paper that I just uploaded. Uh, paper and paper. Here are the three images that I got from Pixabay just now. I'm going to open all of those, and it will load those images into my texture dropdown. Okay, let's select uh, this one and add that to Spotlight. And that places the texture in our ZBrush scene right over our, our canvas. Now click and drag 
the image over what you're trying to do and then if you press Z you will turn on and off the spotlight tool or the um, little circle thing right here and if you click inside this circle you can move this wheel around and you can rotate from over here or over here so that's kinda nice control Z oh wait yikes uh, texture let's get that uh, texture I had and add that okay now drag it over our uh, canvas or our plane okay now one thing you can do is turn down the opacity of this texture so it's very hard to see okay right about there and then that is what we will be painting on the plane then go to spotlight radius that circle that you, you are seeing right now is what we will see <coughs> uh, this is the if we press Z now we can see the texture right on our mouse and that is what we will paint on the surface okay so next turn Z add off and turn uh, RGB on now just uh, let's see oh wait textures on right now okay there we go yeah but I do have UVs so that's fairly exciting because I can use this for other projects or uh, other things than just ZBrush now I'm just painting this nice big texture over our plane and all the colors and all the texture information transfers over 100 percent Okay, now this is taking a while, so I'm going to increase my draw size just so I can make a bigger picture, or bigger effect on our plane. Okay, it looks like everything's um, taken care of. Now I'm going to select another um, texture, okay, and then add that to Spotlight. Hide this. Okay, now I'm going to press Z. What I want to do is have, yeah, if you press Z back and forth, you can display your um, other tools and stuff like that, and then drag it wherever you need to. Let's scale this down considerably and move it anywhere you want to. Okay. Um, I want the yellow to um, be on the edges of my piece of paper. So <coughs> now my draw size is pretty big. Okay, let's see. If I draw that, it'll be about that size. Okay, Control Z. Let's take a look at our alphas. Okay, here's a good one. Uh, that looks fairly nice. Control Z. I'm going to decrease the RGB intensity just so it's not so crazy. Okay, I like that. Control Z. Uh, let's turn spray on to see what that looks like. Yes, I like that. Control Z. Um, press Z and I want to scale this up a little bit more just so I can be a little bit careless when I'm working on the edges of my piece of paper okay now I'm drawing right on top of this uh, original texture okay there are the edges of my texture 
Okay, now Z, and let's move this over to the other side. Z again, and draw just like I was doing before. Okay. Now Z, let's move this in the middle, uh, right over here. Z again. Nice. Okay, Z. Move it over. Z again. Isn't this cool? I like it. Okay, Z. Now I want to rotate this. And if I hold down shift, it will uh, rotate it in increments, you know. Looks like five degrees. Okay, and make sure to. I'm making it straight up and down. Now, over here, I want to paint on this side. So our edges are in the distance, so I shouldn't worry about too much. Okay, Z. Move it down. Z again. Okay. little less crazy. Okay, Z. And then I want to rotate from probably right around right around here. So move this middle wheel over here and then rotate and hold down shift just so I can make it straight. Okay, good. Now Z and wait, hold on. Uh let's that'll be a little better. Okay, then Z, move it a little bit further. Z, I'm just making sure I don't, I don't want any uh, um, seams. Z, okay, wait, uh, yeah. Okay, slowly filling up this area, and then over here, Z, and move it over here, and then I want to rotate it probably right there. So click and drag, then rotate, and hold down shift so it's straight, move it up here. Nice. Z. Okay. Way up there. I'm good. Okay. Z. Now that should work. Good. Okay. Z. Just to make sure. I don't want any seams. Okay. Wait. Control Z. Okay, Z. Now I'm going to try something new. Um, same texture. Let's see if I can adjust the. First, let's turn the opacity all the way up. And then I want to probably paint in some of the 3D. Wait, 1.8 million. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so. First, I want to adjust the saturation. Okay, so just like that. And then scale it up. Okay, and then Z back and forth to see what it what it's looking like. Okay, then I'm gonna turn Z add on and make that really um, have a little impact on the 3D geometry of our piece of paper and then I want to drag rectangle and uh, first I'm going to try RGB all the way up to see what that looks like and I also have an alpha so control Z let's try alpha 
one. Okay. Now click and drag. Mm. I like the bumps that it's getting, but it it's getting rid of my nice yellow background, so that control Z. Let's press Z again and saturation. Whoa, that's dense. I didn't like that at all. Um, hue, intensity. Whoa. Uh, up, down, probably right about there. And I'm probably going to turn RGB off real quick just to see what the 3D geometry looks like. So Z. And start watching for physical bumps. Control Z. Let's increase the Z intensity. There we go. Awesome. Let's die it down a little bit. Whoa. Okay. Shift to frame. Okay. Yeah, see that? You can start to see the um, uh, bumps and ridges. Sweet. Okay, let's just fill up more areas of our paper. Nice. Okay, Z. I'm going to rotate this just to get different results. And that is still big enough, so good. Z again. Click and drag. Okay. That is all the 3D I want for this piece of paper. Let's rotate around to see what that's looking like. Turn perspective off. Okay, it's it's coming up in uh, it's uh, shooting out a little bit, but it's not too crazy. I like that. Turn perspective back on. F to frame. Okay, now what else do I want to do with this? Uh, probably add in the other... Ooh, here's a good one. Let's select this uh, piece of paper and add it to Spotlight. And we are almost done. Okay. I'm just because I can and there are like 20,000 undos inside ZBrush for every subtool. Um, every every subtool, if you had 300 in here, they would all have lots of undos. Um, I'm just going to uh, play around with the scale and um, ooh, that's looking pretty nice. Uh, drag rectangle, let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, now, Control Z, Control Z. Um, I'm going to Z. Mm, I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm going to move it over here. Press Z again. I'm going to turn the RGB on and reduce the Z add quite a bit. I want more of that uh, color. This color applied to this. Okay. Uh huh. Um, I've got symmetry turned on. Control Z X. Nice. That's looking pretty good. Right on. Okay. Ooh, maybe I could use this for the edges of the paper. Okay, that's cool. Sweet. And then a nice line right there. Okay, that's pretty good. And right here would work. Okay, Z. This is a lot of fun. 
let's see, I want these textures over here, but I want it rotated. And let's hold down Shift. Uh, yeah, that's good. Right around there. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Sweet. Pretty awesome. Um, and a little right there. Yeah, okay. Now, Z. Um, probably rotate this about right there and scale it up and Z and I want to turn down the RGB quite a bit okay um, is that too faint? I'm slowly applying brush strokes Okay, and then Z, rotate it. Nice. Okay, then I'm going to turn the RGB up intensity all the way and go back to Z. And I'm going to focus on this area, but Oh man, I like this area. So, right around here I'm going to rotate. Probably right around there. Nope. Rotate. I want it to be straight. Okay. Good. Now Z. Nice. Okay, and this too, I like that. Sweet. And I can use this, this too. Okay, then here's a good crease. Wait. I don't want any seams. So let's move this down. Move it over a little bit. Okay, and then I need a nice, I want this right there. So. Now, a little bit over. Yeah, that that's good. Sweet. Okay, that's good. Now, um, I want. Let's let's rotate this texture all the way around, and then scale it up. Sure, that works. And I want more of this yellow texture from this applied to my piece of paper. So let's decrease this RGB intensity and just start to slowly add in some of the color. Z, let's uh, scale it up even more. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I just made a piece of paper. Let's look at the... Not so bad. The 3D that I'm slowly... Um, 
giving to this piece of paper is not too crazy. Okay. Sweet. It's looking better and better the more I tweak this piece of paper. Sweet. Okay, one last thing. Done. That that looks good. I love my piece of paper so far, but I need like dark edges. So let's in let's look at some of the uh, Pixabay textures I have so far. Okay, let's something dark. Ooh, here's a good one. I like that. Now let's add that to our scene. Nice. Okay. Drag it over. Oh, if you have several textures like this and you're moving this around, but these won't move around, if you click outside of your uh, texture, you can move your other textures around or totally hide them. And then now you don't have to worry about those other textures. Okay, I like this look, but I want it on just the edges, very small like. Okay, so let's scale this down, because I want a nice texture. I'll rotate it too, and hold down shift to make sure it's straight up and down, and scale, rotate, paint, scale. Okay, real small. Set. That might be too small, but who knows. Now, I want... Right, okay. Now, let's see what alpha I can use. Probably... Uh, this one. And then let's adjust this alpha. So let's go to the alpha tab. Modify. Uh, let's see, H tiles. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. I might use that. And then, let's see, tiles, radius fade, radial fade. Um, contrast, alpha. Hmm. Let's. Okay. Nice. Now we've got our piece of paper sideways. And I'm going to see control Z or sorry, just Z right about there. Okay. Now drag rectangle, so that's good. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, control Z. Let's turn this all the way up just so I can see the full effect. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Okay. Z. Bring it over. Scale up. Awesome. My piece of paper is coming to life. And then let's rotate it this way. Okay. Now Z and move things around. Let's see. Shift Z to turn it off entirely. And I'm rotating this direction. Okay. Good. I like this area so far. Z, let's move this around, rotate it. Uh, that's good. Nice. Cool. And then Shift Z to turn it off entirely. 
let's do the edge. So right about there. Wait. Okay. Nice. And then Shift Z and draw this right there. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to go back to alpha and adjust the H tile back down to one. Yeah. That's good. Okay, then this direction. Let's uh, Z rotate this a little bit and scale it up. Okay. Nice. Now I want some of these lines through most of the paper. Okay. Nice. Okay, then Shift Z. Let's move my paper around a little bit. And then Shift Z again. Okay, right about there. There. Awesome. Okay, that's good. Now I need a few lines right here. Uh, Z to see where my uh, texture is at. That's good. Okay. Right on. Okay. Now my piece of paper is done. Uh, F to frame. Isn't that cool? I made this entirely just using Spotlight and just a few textures that I got uh, online from pixabay.com. Pretty cool. If anybody likes this video wants to see more, please subscribe. Actually, uh, let's go to Documents, save a startup, because that's pretty cool. Um, actually, maybe I want it the whole screen. Is that... No, it doesn't look good enough. F, I like that. Okay, let's do that again just to make sure. Save a startup doc. Now every time I load up ZBrush, I'm going to see this fabulous texture that I made very quickly. Pretty cool. If anybody likes this video, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching, everybody. Okay, so now I've got my really awesome texture that was simple to make. Now I have, before I started this, I created UVs from, for it with Z plugin and UV master right and uh, then I went over to texture map so I've got a texture for it now I'm going to click new from polypaint and that will load the texture uh, so now I've got you know a texture that I can use in other programs so I'm going to save this wait now that I have the texture, I can reduce the polygons to its lowest division, 16,000, and I still retain the poly paint information. Really wicked, awesome, sweet, and cool. So now let's go to Z plugin. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, tools. Wait, no, sorry. Z plugin, I had it right the first time. Then FBX export import. Export and sure this is a good location um, let's see uh, textured paper awesome totally sweet 16,000 polygons look how intense these textures are anybody can use this really fast and awesome so yeah, everybody use um, 
uh, spotlight as much as you can. It's a really powerful tool. Thanks.